hello friends in this video i just explain how to input through keyboard in python i simply explain by one example or one program just as a write a program to print a student mark sheet in python so let's see example how to input to keyboard in python to keyboard in python let's see now in previous video i have explained work of different editors if you want to use the ideally python 64 bit environment 3.764 bit environment you can easily use this environment this is the id platform that use or doing the program python program but if you want to use another editor that is called the visual studio 2000 microsoft product visual studio 2017 you, you you use visual studio 2017 both option you just choice only one option for running the python application file just open new open project and just select python application and given the python project name is mark sheet mark sheet one and then click ok So here the mark sheet one dot pi is created. Open and now write a program just as a comment form. Write a program to Now, firstly, I decided five subject. First is C language, just equal to input. Basically, input is used for the input from the keyboard in Python. So, if you want to input through keyboard in Python language, in case of the C, you use the scanner. And C++ you use the C out function. And same as if you use a Visual Basic, then use the prompt and input in case of the Visual Basic. So same as in case of the Python, we use the input for inputting through keyboard in Python language. So enter C language marks. Now second language I select Java, so just as an input, enter Java language marks. Now next language is Python I select equal to input. Python language marks now next language I selected Perl equal to input enter Perl Language marks. Now 
now next ruby input enter ruby language works <coughs> now some all uh, some of all language marks using some variable just i declared the sub variable svm equal to now if you want to input through keyboard this type of input is string form so now convert to string to integer so in case of the python we use the eval method for converting a string to integer because in case of the if you want to input through keyboard input is a string so read a string from standard output you see that read a string from standard input so that is a string form and this string form is stored in c language so firstly convert to the string to integer for sum because if you want to add two string then the suppose a uh, example form uh, uh, I just declare a string just declare a string L and same as a string M and now L plus M so in case of the string L we enter the data in string L Vivek and in string M Tiwari so if you add both string so the result is Vivek Tiwari or suppose if you want to input in a string L equal to 39 and same as the M equal to 59 in string form so if you want to add both string variable L plus M now result is 33 or 57 both same not a out not a total of two values in integer values just as the same as print output so first you firstly convert to the string to integer so eval just as a converter in a string to integer form now c length same as eval java same as eval python same eval now same eval ruby now here we print the total marks total marks is just print the integer type that is the integer type so just as a percent to use for integer value and here we just percent sum now find the average so just use the abg variable abg equal to sum divided by 5 i just use the integer value at the time i had not declared a float uh, float type variable so just passing the integer value and if you want to use float then you print average in a float form now see that print averages now just print percent up and that print a b g now save this program and now compile this program so here we see the input is c language marks now input through keyboard just input 89 and here 67 and python marks is 45 uh, uh, 98 and same as the Perl languages marks 76 and ruby languages 56 so just click and here we see the total marks is 386 and average is 77.2000. 
so you easily input through keyboard in python mm -hmm. i explain input through keyboard using visual studio 2017 now same program i copy this program just wait I copy this program just copy and close this editor this id now open python id id le python 3.7 now here we open the python id file new file and same as this program paste here and file save name is desktop in desktop save in desktop so name is mark mark sheet dot py so save this file now run this program same as a, if you if you want to use the shortcut key use f5 for run the program otherwise go to the menu run and click to run module now here we see just as input 56 78 77 88 99 and same as 45 so here we see the output is 365 and average is 73 so this python program easily done for input through keyboard thanks thanks watching this video thank you very much